somebody asked a question in the comments about base response and the um, the SM58 compared to some others. And he was talking about the frequencies, actual frequencies of the voice. Mine's down to about 56 or so. Aaron's, who's a bass singer, is lower. And I thought... Yeah, so the SM58 goes down to 50, so I'm 56, so that should do it. And some of these others, the Bayer, and I think the uh, 40V, go down to 30, or is the Bayer 20? I don't know. Anyway, much lower. And what's the point in that? Well, let's see if I could make this maybe a bit clearer, and this is just my uh, experience and understanding. Uh, first of all, bass is troublesome. Three words, really. Big, heavy, and expensive. Most speakers don't go down that low. Hi-fi speakers, they start curtailing around 50 or a bit higher. Certainly uh, laptops and phones and stuff, forget it. PAs don't, because big, heavy, and expensive to reproduce bass cleanly. And um, we don't really want that. We don't want big. As you get older, you don't want heavy. Then most of us don't want expensive. So I tend to do away with it or try to replace it by some stuff that's higher up that fools the ear into thinking it's real bass. But to me, that just becomes boom. And the boom tends to uh, obscure the area that we want to hear for intelligibility and tone and stuff. So I think that's um, that's been my experience, which is why I use the bare face cab to sing through. It's a bass cab, but it's like a monitor. Also, the ear starts to curtail the lower notes and the higher, but the very highest seem to have less effect than the lowest, and the lowest start to become physical, so you can feel as well as hear. Some people would say you feel all of it, the higher frequencies as well, which you probably do, but it's not so obvious. So I thought I'd see if I could, in a practical way, um, demonstrate what I'm talking about. Let me do the Icon Pro first. This might seem a bit strange. What I'm attempting to do when you see me put my hand over my nose is to try and cut down on the air. So you can hear more of the low frequency. You'll need headphones for this, of course. A phone or laptop won't do at all. If I just demonstrate why I'm going to put my fingers over my nose, I'm going to do this without my fingers. Maybe you can hear that, obviously, the... the uh, uh, <laughs> Frequencies are reduced by my putting my fingers over, but the bass ones still get through. So, so you can hear bass response more clearly, I'm hoping. That's the idea. Let me move on to the SM58. This is the SM58 then. You hear that immediately, yes. Um, let me do that. Mm, mm, mm. So the bass is there, and you can hear when I remove my hand that the that peak at the top t uh, tends to drown out what bass there is. I can't do this with two hands, can I? Because I need one for my nose. Going to the Earthworks 40V, which is a bass beast. On the SR 40V. when I'm got my mouth open. <laughs> SM58. <laughs> the bass is still there, but it's hidden in amongst all the uh, accentuation of the other stuff and 
it's got reduced power anyway. It's probably getting to the um, extremes of its abilities. Uh, uh. 40V. This is another bass beast which needs uh, cranking just a bit. Now, between the two bass beasts, this and the earthworks, to my ears, the earthworks is cleaner. M88. Let me figure out what I'm going to do first. Yeah, there we go. Forty V. Prodigious, but it seems to me to be cleaner. One more time between them. Forty V. And uh, Bayer's got more of that, and slightly less of the low end. But that could be because I hear in the high end. 58. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I don't like. It's just all uh, stuff there and no real detail. And then that spike there for me. I mean, whatever you want it for. May as well on the Icon Pro. <laughs> To me, the Icon Pro has the, the low end. It does say it goes down to 20. I don't think it, the proximity exaggerates it as much. But it's got more stuff going on at the top. So the balance changes. Proximity then. I like it. It helps where the ear is less sensitive. But, and you need then to be able to control it. But, uh... I don't like bloom and bluster because that just uh, gets in the way of things. So once again, the Bayer Dynamic M88 does extremely well for a design from 1962. The 40V is flatter, clearer, and has just a bit more weight. <laughs> 